Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a cult beauty haul for you. A couple of weeks ago I did a bit of a large order. I wanted to stock up on some skincare that I'd ran out of and I also wanted to try a few new bits and I was enticed by some hair care. So this is all skincare and hair care items. There is one makeup item that I needed to repurchase but yeah, also I do know that my top is creased. I just don't really care. So let's get straight into it. Right, the makeup item that I wanted to stock up on was my Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is my third one now. They last for ages, but I always use this on a day-to-day -day basis to do my eyebrows. It's just so quick and easy. It's great for getting that bushy brow look. You can just like fill them in really quickly and then kind of brush them up with a brow gel but I love this it has a spoolie on one end which is very very handy and then it's just a little thin brow pencil really really easy to use and I just love it I get mine in the shade granite shall we move on to some hair care next I've been wanting to try some products from way for ages I just love their packaging I think they're so aesthetically pleasing I've seen them online so much they've been raved about so I wanted to pick up a couple of things and I've used everything in this haul because they did arrive a couple of weeks ago so I have been trying both of these products out and I really really love them so first up I picked up their rose hair and body oil I have been loving this for my hair I don't tend to put it on my body although you could I just I put coconut oil on my body so I just don't need it but this smells so nice it doesn't smell really rosy it kind of smells a little tiny bit like rose but mostly just fresh and I really like that it's great on your hair it contains different oils it doesn't actually say on here which oils it contains but I did look it up I think it's got macadamia oil in rose essential oil argan oil and it's just really nourishing on your hair but it's not heavy and you need the tiniest bit like one pump will do and I usually use coconut oil on my hair but this just feels a bit more luxurious and like I said the smell is just beautiful but it's not so strong that it's gonna overpower a perfume that you're wearing or anything it's very delicate but it's so nice I also picked up their wave spray which I've really been liking so I find it difficult with texturizing sprays I don't like it when they make your hair crispy I don't like it when they have too much hold I don't like sea salt sprays basically because I've got naturally wavy slash curly hair and it just makes it go frizzy so I've heard really good things about this and I wanted to try it out so this basically it just gives you that beachy look it gives you texture but it doesn't make your hair go crispy it doesn't make it go frizzy and I've just really really been loving it I've just been putting a little bit of the rose oil on my hair when it's damp and then I put this on and let it dry naturally I haven't done that today but that's that's what I've been doing just generally day to day and my hair dries really really nice with it and I've just been absolutely loving this. Another hair product that I've been dying to try out because I've heard so much about it is the Hair by Sam McKnight Cool Girl Texturizing Spray. Now again with texturizing sprays I find them difficult. I don't like them when they clump your hair together. I don't like them when you can feel them in your hair when they make your hair heavy. Not a fan. So I wanted to try this out and it is amazing it gives your hair texture but it's not heavy it doesn't have like a waxy finish or anything like that it has the nicest smell I was worried that I wouldn't like the smell because I've heard a couple of people say that it smells a bit like grass and I was like mm, that doesn't sound appealing but I actually love the smell of this it smells like my Creed perfume which has made me think do people not like my Creed perfume because it literally smells the same to me it doesn't smell like grass at all it does have a green scent but it's more like fresh and it's slightly floral it actually just smells expensive I love the smell of it and it just gives you that gorgeous undone messy kind of look and I just really 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 like this I just spray it onto my roots and through the ends of my hair give it a little ruffle and I'm good to go. I especially love it when I've waved or curled my hair. On to some skincare. First up, I picked up a hand cream. I just needed one for my handbag and I've wanted to try this one out from Sol de Janeiro for ages. It's the Brazilian Touch hand cream and it basically smells like the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream or Boom Boom Cream, which you guys know I am obsessed with. I love that scent. It's honestly 
one of my favourite scents. If they came out with a perfume, I would buy it. I actually have the body spray and I love it. I've got this on now and my hands smell so good. What I love about this is that it is moisturising but that it absorbs into your skin straight away which is why I've been keeping this in my handbag because it's a nice one for when you're out and about and you don't want your hand cream to just sit on your hands for ages and you need something that's fast absorbing. It's great for that. I wouldn't say that it would be brilliant if you have super dry skin or anything but it's a nice one just to shove in your handbag and it smells unbelievable absolutely love it oh just everything about this brand i'm obsessed with them okay so since about august or september last year i have been using religiously every single day a cleanser and a moisturizer that has done wonders for my skin i've wanted to include them in like a skincare routine which i want to film soon so you'll see them again in that basically i've been using these two products from mv organics they're basically a totally organic skincare brand and they have helped my skin out so so much since I've started using these I haven't had problems with spots like I used to I have changed my diet a bit like I have cut out dairy and stuff which has definitely helped my skin but the combination of these two products and my slight change in diet has worked wonders my skin looks better than it ever has and I would not be without these now they are expensive but for me it's been totally worth it these both last me about six months at a time so I think this is about 57 pounds and the moisturizer I could be slightly off so I'm gonna link them down below along with all the rest of the products if you want to check them out but I think this moisturizer is 84 pounds which is steep they do do a smaller size for 26 pounds which I tried out first and I absolutely loved it so I picked up the bigger size for me personally paying that twice a year for great gorgeous amazing skin is just so worth it I've got really sensitive skin it reacts to any sort of chemicals it reacts to SPF it's just not happy a lot of the time and it's been really happy with these products they are actually for sensitive skin but they're formulated for all skin types but this is the gentle cream cleanser I use this on the morning I just rub it into my skin in circular motions and then I use a hot cloth just to wipe it off I use this if I've had light makeup on during the day but if I've had heavy makeup on this won't take it off I do need a cleansing balm but for every day this has worked absolute wonders on my skin and this is the rose soothing protective moisturizer it's not a light moisturizer but it does absorb into the skin really quickly because when I first put this on I thought oh no that's going to be far too heavy for my skin but it isn't it doesn't break me out it doesn't sit on top of your skin it does absorb really quickly it's really really nourishing and soothing and they don't contain any nasties any parabens anything that is not good for your skin and I just absolutely love them I can't rave highly enough about them so I've wanted to try out some products from the ordinary for ages and as you can see I picked up quite a few basically I am a massive fan of AHAs which stands for alpha hydroxy acids I love glycolic acid and I just wanted to kind of delve a little bit deeper into acids and serums because I'm not usually a fan of serums but I just kind of wanted to try out some of their products and I know that you can kind of mix and match their serums and you can kind of create your own little not concoctions but you can layer them they recommend that you use maximum like three at a time so I've got a load of them and I've got into kind of like a more morning and evening skincare routine with different ones and I wasn't sure which ones to pick up but I did go on their website and it basically gives you different skincare routines for different skin concerns so my main skin concerns are kind of textural irregularities occasional spots and anti-aging so I wanted to pick up a few products for that so I looked on their website which was really really handy so I will link that page down below in case you're interested in trying any of these products out and you're just not sure which ones to go for it kind of just lists what your skin type might be and their products that will help with it so for my spots I picked up their salicylic acid 2% solution I've been using this for a couple of weeks and I've noticed a massive difference in my skin I've been using all of these products and honestly my skin has been so 
good. I'm super impressed. I love the ethos behind their brand. They're basically democratizing skincare. So their products are cheap. They're between five pounds to maybe like 11, 12 pounds. The most expensive product I bought, I think was about 11 pounds or something, but most of them are around the five, six, seven pound mark, which is amazing for products like this because they usually have quite a high price point. But this I've noticed is amazing. I just put it on my skin at night time and it's been keeping it really clear. It's also great just for applying topically onto your spot. It works absolute wonders. So I also picked up their niacinamide 10% with zinc 1%. That is basically to regulate your oil production and I've noticed since using this that my pores are a lot smaller on my cheeks which is amazing. I just use this once on a morning and I've been absolutely loving it. I also picked up their glycolic acid 7% toning solution which I haven't used yet because I'm still using my Pixie Glow Tonic but the Pixie Glow Tonic is £18 and it's only 5% glycolic acid. This is like I said 7% and it is well cheaper. I think it's like £7 which is amazing and you get loads in there so you basically just screw this little nozzle on the top and I'm very excited to use this. Like I said I'm a massive fan of glycolic acid. I don't use scrubs on my face anymore, I just use glycolic acid and I think it just works wonders. I also got this, this is their Buffet Serum. So it basically just contains a load of different ingredients that are great for anti-aging and just hydrating your skin. It's got Matrixol Synth 6, Matrixol 3000, those are both amazing for anti-aging. It's got hyaluronic acid in, amino acids, and it's just a bit of a concoction of loads of stuff that is great for anti-aging. And again, I've been absolutely love, love, loving this. None of these are watery, by the way, which I like because I don't like watery serums. They have, they are watery, but they're like a sort of gel consistency and they absorb straight into your skin and they're just pretty fabulous. Next up I got the Granactive Retinoid 5% in Squalane. You can get this with 2% Granactive retinoid and this is basically just good for your texture and anti-aging. I've been loving this as well. Then I have the azelic, I think that's how you pronounce this, azelic acid suspension 10%. It's basically to brighten your skin up, to get rid of any texture in your skin and I just have been absolutely loving it. I mean these products are so cheap and they work absolute wonders. So every night before bed I've been putting on their 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil onto my face and it's just been really hydrating my face. It's great for redness. It just balances out your skin. It hydrates it but you can also use it if you have oily skin. It just kind of balances everything out no matter what your skin type is and I've been loving this. I also put it like on my neck and on my chest as well. Next up from them I got their AHA 30%. That's 30% alpha hydroxy acid. Now, the highest percentage I've ever seen from a skincare brand is one of Murad's products, which has 10% in. I usually use the Alpha H Liquid Gold, that's 44 pounds, and I think that only contains 5%. This contains 30%. I mean, use with caution, obviously, but I have loved this. It's basically a mask. So it's got 30% AHA, BHA 2%. It's basically a 10 minute exfoliating facial. You put it on your face for 10 minutes, rinse it off and it basically just kind of gets rid of any dead skin cells on the surface of your skin. It makes it so smooth. It's a lot kinder on your skin than using scrubs, but it's also a lot more effective in my opinion. If you are gonna be using acids on your skin, by the way, just make sure you're using an SPF during the day because it does make your skin more sensitive to sunlight. But honestly, this is a little miracle worker absolutely love it. Although I wouldn't recommend putting this on your neck or your chest. I've just personally found that it's a bit too much for those areas. I do have a very sensitive neck anyway. I've got a little patch of eczema over here at the moment so that might just be my skin but I do have sensitive skin like I've mentioned and this is absolutely fine on my face. So there we go. I definitely spent my dollar but it was very worth it. Do you know what it is? I've got to say I love spending money on makeup but I would rather spend money on my skincare because if you don't have a clear canvas 
no makeup is gonna look good on top of it so I do like to invest in my skincare and really really take care of my skin I find that my makeup looks a million times better when I do that so let me know if you've used any of these products below and what you think of them and give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one guys bye